Schmitz in Nashville. Well, he had a great playoff last year with Toronto, and he uh, can sk skate and carry the puck. He's not shy of catching up with the play and getting involved with the offense. Now we're going to have a scrap. McLaren drops the gloves with Vandebush. Vandebush wanted to go with Nash, who wouldn't drop the gloves. Now McLaren does, and he's hammering away at Vandebush. And Steve McLaren, no stranger to this, neither is Vandebush. And it's a toe to toe slugfest, and now Vandebush coming on after looking like he was getting tattooed. They're still standing at center ice, slugging it out toe to toe. And now Vandebush and McLaren, two exhausted Warriors, tumble to the ice. Steve McLaren last year had 251 penalty minutes in the American League, 177 the year before that, in only 48 games, 247 the year before that, 216 the year before that. So Vandebush wanted to go with Nash, who wouldn't fight him. McLaren obliged. Well, McLaren's best friend the last three years has been the timekeeper in every building that he's been involved in. <laughs> after a face off in the neutral zone, it didn't take long, and the Hawks giving the nod to Vandenbush, who took a couple of solid shots early in the bout and then bounced right back up off the ice and landed a few of his own. So five minutes each, they both earned. Their respite in the penalty box. That was quite a tussle. Bannon Bush is amazing for his size. He goes after anyone, no matter what size and toughness. He has certainly proven his fearlessness over the last.